25 miles an hour. He's on the turning. Oi, boss it. Hello everyone and welcome back for another fun video in automation the transport tycoon business game today we're going to be taking a look at a car that was inspired by the honda civic two letters i can't remember what the letters are now is it ef i think it's the ef version i believe it came in, in 1987 i believe that's when it came about maybe 1985 somewhere around there it has this one particular has a, a bit of an engine swap so we'll ignore the engine mostly we'll just have a little glance at what sort of stats it's pushing like i said it's just more inspired by more or less the style of it the way it looks as it's quite a cool car it is front wheel drive it has a lot of power and the name i've called it is the c Fic in honda four wheel drive k20 dreams it's um it's not a k20 i just slapped some beautiful materials in it get us kicking the engine i've put in it is an inline four two liter dual overhead cam 16 valve it is pushing out 360 brake horsepower at eight and a half thousand revs but it will max out at ten thousand revs so it streams all the way up to ten thousand revs what a beautiful toy to play with i don't think there's much more in the stats that we need to know apart from it's got a juicy turbo on lovely and that's it really nothing special normal sort of stats so we can move on from that but before we do let's take a listen show me what you got baby show me what you got Truly sound to my ears, apart from at the very high revs where the engine was obviously struggling a little bit. There's a little bit of a struggle. Any important stats down here? Oh, throttle response is 70.5. That's pretty darn good. This is the car trim we chose, chose in the end. It's a hatchback 1984 in the game. Front engines, wheelbase 2.48 meters, which is about right to be in line with the real Civic, which is cool. Um, and actually it has the same body as the Civic I did before, the CRX. Uh, well, not the same body, the same chassis, so we say, which is uh, quite funny. I do like that. There's quite a few of them here. So I probably could have just took the engine from this one, even though this one has, I think, something like 1600 brake horsepower. If you haven't seen that engine car, go watch it. What a mantle car. On with the steering capabilities now. I have skipped a few sections, but bear with me. I have had trickiness getting it to my sort of style. I did want some sort of oversteer. You know, I wanted to be quite grippy in the front. But uh, all we got is perfect alignment. Just, just perfectly straight down the line. You know, it couldn't be... Well, it's, it's a little bit more sporty than it is drivability. Um, I'm stuck here for now. If I can prove it, I shall. On the traction side of things, I chose none. It's got no ABS, no traction control, nothing. The old rack and pin will do me fine and the standard settings I tend to go for to make my cars light as possible. This is my downforce, but again, it, I think it needs some alterations. I want some more dartiness in my steering. It's a little bit off, but it is front wheel drive. I'm used to driving rear wheel drive in these games at the moment, so maybe it's just me. This is my brake force setup. I've tried to get it now close as I can to the dots and quite even as I can with the spread. Just because I've got no ABS. So if you just put your foot on the brake and you've got it way too maxed up, you'll just lock up. You don't want to be doing that. You want to be trying to not lock the wheels up as you go into corners. So you can do your trail braking and all that sort of stuff like a pro. I've already mentioned it. It's a front-wheel drive car. I've put it in manual six-speed, which you can't get in those sort of days. So this is going to be 
um, a car from the 80s that was modified and driven in the 90s. I've got a bit of a theme going at the moment, which actually does remind me. I have forgotten the JDM um, tag in the window. I will put that in at some point. But this car will do 205 miles per hour, 60 in first gear. It will, will spin like a lunatic. Um, geared LSD and all that sort of stuff. It's beautiful. Quite a fun car to drive. So here is the finished car, but what I'm going to do now is take it back to bare bones and let you guys watch it be built in a little time lapse. So let's do sit back, maybe have a cup of tea and enjoy the motions. Yeah, so here you go. Here's the finished product. Very nice. I do think the interior came out quite well. If you want to see me build that in a little tutorial, you can go to another video where I show you how to do that. Look for the playlist in my channel. But here's the little stats you want to have a look. I do think the weight's a bit unrealistic. So maybe I chose something wrong there. It probably should be a bit more around the 700 kilograms. Considering how basic these cars were back in the day, they didn't weigh much. So uh, I do wonder what, what went on there. But um, anyway, we're going to go over to this summary and we're going to export what we have now and go, go over to BeamNG and give it a test drive in my UK themed map that I'm working on. So I'll see you over there shortly. So here we are in BeamNG. 
we're going to take the car now for a road trip around the coastal road in fact let's uh whip up the exhaust and let's get going blah, 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 blah. 60 miles an hour in first gear please there we go oh 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 way too fast into that I believe like we don't have to leave second gear for this first bit I have had a little bit of practice but of course I'm going to send it like a lunatic for you guys and get the jump Whee. I should put traffic on really but I thought I'd go for a mad dash rather than dash around traffic and you can see this car is pretty lively it turns into corners it understeers like you would expect a front wheel car to do especially when you put the foot down and you can dart it in though if you get get it just right balance the car oh balance the car put your foot down oh yes yeah, 90 miles an hour second gear 120 out of third gear so he's got six gears by the way but slow down for this corner Back down to seconds. Oh, lock the brakes. Oh, careful. 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 Oh, this car is pretty lively. All right, now we get to put our foot down a little bit. No traffic, so we get to sit on the wrong side of the road. And heavy on the brakes. Turn it in. Oh, what a... I don't think I could push that any later than that. That's Bradley dodging cloth then. Well, I always go easy, easy in the sand area because I haven't really decided how exactly I want that yet. And I still haven't worked on the map since the last video, so you will see the bumps. But here we go, 90 miles an hour. Easy around this right hand bend because it does kill a lot of me. There we go. And easy down, back for the second, and we're back to the start again of the loop. Oh, wow. This car is pretty good. This was, in fact, it's, it's really hard to hurt yourself. You don't spin out very much. As long as you don't throw yourself into the corners too fast, you'll be able to do what you want in it. And as you can see by my demonstrations in my driving abilities in this. Look at the speed of this thing. I've got it sideways then. Just put your foot down where you want to go. And it's off. It is off. I tell you. Keep it to the right. Oh, beautiful tail out there. Oh, cut the mud a bit too much then. Oh, and again. This uh, car probably handles a little bit better than I'm expecting it to. Hence why I'm cutting corners. We're going to bob it through the little river bit. The little Ford that I've made. Easy on the brakes. Not easy enough. Ah! Ah! Whoa. You can tell I got a bit overconfident with that then. Oh, what a dream. Oh, what a dream car to play in. It's almost more fun than my rear wheel drive cars just because I don't have to be as careful. I don't think it's as fast. I don't know. Maybe it's faster because I've got more abilities in the corners. Oh, I love that little jump. It's in the right corner. But I was trying to keep in the lines before, like you are meant to. Actually, was I? I probably wasn't really. I was meant to do that with my first lap, try and keep it on the proper side of the road. But, um, yeah, we're going to decide to try and go full ham on this one and see how well we can do around the track. Keeping this wheel in control. With my new wheel, I've gone for the T300 by Frostmaster. Oh, I almost threw myself off the cliff then. But we've got enough nice and straight for this bit. How fast can we get down the straight? 120 miles an hour. Oh, I got a bit of a jump then. Back down to around 60 for these bits. Use the power from the front wheels to keep yourself in line. Don't have to worry about oversteering too much. 120 miles an hour, 130 on the brakes. Oh, I've locked up. That was stupid. Oh, there's a floating tree. Probably should fix that. Oh, it's accelerating. I should probably should put some traffic in. Give that a little go, that's for sure. We want our little roundabout thing. This has probably got a real name. If anyone's watching this and you know the name of this sort of roundabout, which is kind of two roundabouts put together, please let me know. But anyway, I'm just going to take it on the motorway now. Normally it would have crashed. 
80 miles an hour onto the motorway, which is 70 miles an hour by law. Doing 125 miles. Taking the corner like a bit of a boss. Back end come out a bit too much more than I was expecting. We're now in fourth gear. Still bombing it through. Remember, this is only a 1.4 litre engine we're doing. Oh, no, not 1.4. It's a 2 litre engine. Oh, I wasn't paying attention. Look at the state of it. Well, we'll try that again. And I'll try and get my stats right at least. I was going to say it's in line four. And it's a two liter engine. So, um, we're getting these speeds out of it. How many horsepower did I say it had? 400, was it? Which is a generous, generous amount of horses. You don't really need more. Especially when it's front wheel drive. You just end up spinning the wheels forever. 25 miles an hour. Easy on the turning. Oi! Boss it. Use the power to keep you straight. Could have changed gear a lot sooner then. I think the best time to change gear in this car is probably around about 9,000 revs. Oh! That corner gets me every time. Is that the of this? Right. This is, uh... This is not... This is, that corner has ruined my footage now twice. I'm not happy with it. I'm not happy with you, corner. So I'm coming for you. You're going to get me this time. I know I'm bombing it a bit fast. But that's the point of the game. Go fast or go home. Yeah, I know. Blip, 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 blip. Blip, 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 blip. There we go. Try and get me this time, corner. I'm ready for you. 150 miles an hour. Fifth gear. Yeah, I knew you weren't going to get me this time because I was ready for you. 175 miles an hour. We're not even reached the bridge yet. We're doing 182 miles an hour. You can definitely probably... Sixth gear. Yes, here we go. Probably join the 200 mile an hour club here. Which is uh, the JDM club that I'm trying to make in my own little head. 195 miles an hour. It definitely classifies as a... Like a, the, the tier B group I'm going to do. If you get close to 200, it's tier B. If you're in the tier A group, it means your car can do the 200. Oh! He can do the 200, but can he stay on the road? He's back on. It's okay. You saw nothing. Oh, my. So, yeah, this car's... Able to do 200 miles an hour. Should you? The thing is that... Okay, steering wheel, fine. I think the problem is with this car, I've tuned it for Toge. I, when I last raced this and I was testing it out, it, it, it was more understeering than anything. It was locking up its brakes. It wasn't so fun to dart it in. And after I did my footage, I did a little bit of tweaking, try and get it a bit more sporty. I got to 95 sportiness and um, I'm happy. I can play with this. I don't kill myself, I'm having lots of fun. If you want to know how to do your handling, I do have a video on that one, a tutorial. Okay, don't look away from the road. Keep your eyes on the road. If you're doing 80 miles an hour down country roads. You keep your eyes on the road. You don't take them off the road. Okay, I'm off. Okay, I shouldn't have blipped the throttle. I thought, ah, blip the throttle. That'll pull me in. Not when the weight's not correct. Anyway. This has been eventful. I've had lots of fun. I hope you guys have too. The car is a dream. You guys are a dream. Please like and subscribe. I'll see you on the next one. Okay. Stop the recording now.